Hey, what's up everybody? Wes here. Thanks for tuning in. Today, I'm going to show you how to install this Air Titan T7 Crawl Space Vent Fan. I got this off Amazon. I'll provide a link below if you're interested. Um, what I'm doing is doing some work in my crawl space. I'm going to work on encapsulating it. If you're closing off all your vents to reduce humidity, you'll need a vent like this to create some negative pressure and pull any air or gases out of your crawl space. And this is the brains of the operation. This is the control module. This is what the fan plugs into your temperature gauge. And it just plugs into a standard outlet that you may have in your crawl space. Uh, or you may need to run an extension cord. And here's the fans. This is a dual fan option. Basically what it's going to do is pull air from your crawl space and vent it to the outside of your home via one of your existing radon vents. And I'll show you how to get that set up. It also comes with this handy template, so if you need to cut a precise hole for this, you can just lay it down wherever you're going to cut that, trace it out, mark your holes, and then cut it out, and that's going to make a perfect fitment for you. Now, it's kind of hard to see in this video, but these two fans, they're 3.36 watts each. It also comes with this temperature sensor, temperature probe that'll plug into the control module to get your humidity and overall temp. It's got some detailed instructions on how to operate, how to install some mounting hardware if you're actually going to be bolting this to something and then your standard dc power plug so here's the complete kit everything that comes with and i noticed on the box when i ordered this it came just like it was it says don't ship as is use additional shipping box but it didn't come with additional boxing it just had one dent but i'm hoping that everything's okay with this kit we'll go ahead and plug it in and give it a try so we've got our fan here in the kitchen all we're gonna have to do there's a couple of plugs here in the bottom but you'll plug your fan right into that and then the only other thing you need to do, aside from getting your temperature set up when you're ready, is to plug in the DC power. And it's already kicking in. Um, we won't get any readings here until we have our probe in, but it's actually blowing air pretty good. So I'll pick it up since it's actually trying to pull air through it. And we'll give it a listen and see what the volume's like. So it's actually pretty quiet. Again, we're not getting any readings here because we don't have our probe set up. We'll do that once we do the install. But I'm pretty impressed with the fan output as well as the sound level overall. You can adjust the speeds here just in case you need to pump out some more air. Um, you can also set this to trigger for high humidity, high temperatures, to shut off during low temperatures. All kinds of different settings with this control module. And I think it's really going to help you out depending on whatever you're trying to achieve in your particular situation. But in my situation, I'm trying to lower humidity inside my crawl space. This is an example of the vent that we're going to replace here. I've sealed off all the other ones, and I plan on coming back and doing a full encapsulation later. But I'll let you pop in here and check out what we've got going on so far. So what I've done so far is to put a foam board in each vent hole. I'll be sealing that one later. And here's where the air vent's going to go that we just purchased. So I need to knock out this little bit of mortar so that things are going to fit so I can pull the vent out. And then I'll build a quick little frame out of two by fours that I can mount it to. And then after I have that done, I'm going to do a little spray foam sealing to make sure that it's airtight. So the first thing I've got to do here is get this vent kind of broke free from the mortar. Just a few taps with a mallet should kind of get that solved for you. And then we'll go ahead and build up our frame and get this thing mounted. So this is my primitive frame here made out of two by fours. I had to do an extra one on the other side because this air uh, fan was just a little bit smaller than my original opening. Uh, and you can see all the daylight showing through here. So it's no good as is. That's why I'll come back with some spray foam and some caulk and get that sealed up a little bit better. But again, here's some different modes. You got your high temp, high humidity, um, your low humidity, all kinds of different options you can set this up for. But you're gonna need to use this probe to make it work. So it's reading 77 degrees in here right now, dropping. It's actually kind of cool in here, around 66. But you'll just want to get this thing put kind of further away from any openings. Um, we've got the fan here and then my entry door. So I'll probably just hang it over a piece of duct or something uh, for now, as far away as I can. And then we'll do a better setup with that later to make it run a little more cleanly. And here's a quick look at it from the outside. Um, it's pretty quiet, unless you're just right up on it. Even then, it's really not that loud. So I definitely think this is going to be a great fan. It's not going to cause me any kind of annoyance. Uh, I've got some of the foam in place. I need to come back and do some caulking. And I'll probably just paint this gray to match later on. And then here's the inside. So I got a little crazy with the spray foam. I still need to do some caulking in here. Um, but other than that, it's pretty much sealed up and ready to go. It's been running for a little while now. We've got our temperature dropped back down to where it is, uh, 66. And it looks like 88% on the humidity is what it's saying, which seems really high. But it doesn't feel like it's that humid in here. Um, I went ahead and sealed up the hole with this spray foam while I was at it. 
Um, I think I'm going to actually purchase a hygrometer so I can actually get an accurate reading and see if it matches what this little device is saying. I'm trying to do some work in here as far as encapsulating and replacing some of this vapor barrier that was put down very poorly. Um, it's supposed to be laid down um, kind of uniformly, overlapped six inches, and then taped. Um, none of it's overlapped properly. None of it was taped. Uh, it's just kind of in bad shape. But what you want to do is basically put a vapor barrier on the wall and on the floor, overlap it, tape it, seal all your vents, and have this exhaust vent fan that we just installed. That way, if there's any gases coming up from the ground, it's going to pull and vent those out. These are all important steps to encapsulate your crawl space. Also adding a dehumidifier. I'll do that as a last resort, but I'll let you guys know how this goes. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please leave those in the comments below. Also consider subscribing and I'll see you next time. Peace.